Slash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's about 9 a.m. Simba was sleeping in this cat bed. He was so cute. But I had to get my camera, which was not too far from where he was sleeping. So he moved. And there's Splash. Splash is sleeping here. Here's Boo Boo sleeping on the bed all night. Good morning, Simba. It's very important to say good morning to your cats. Say good morning to them every morning and say good night to them every night. They like that. And here's Stella. Stella's relaxing on the cat tower and looking out the window at the same time. It's 1245 right now, and this is what happened to the party platter that was put out for the wildlife last night. So this section had grape jelly sandwiches. Those are all gone. This section had peanuts. Those are all gone. There's just some peanut shells lying around. Uh, this section had cut up apples. I would say about half of the apple has been eaten. This section had a graham cracker that was cut into smaller pieces. The graham cracker is gone. This section had hot dogs and that was the first section to go. The skunks and the possums ate all the hot dogs before the raccoons could even get to them. And then this section had a tangerine that was cut up into segments. So those are still here. Um, so it looks like the wildlife really enjoyed everything. Uh, except for the tangerine, it looks like the majority of the tangerine is still there. And today, this morning, the squirrel was eating the apples. And this is the mess that the raccoons made with the water bowl. So they were eating uh, most of the peanuts and they kept dipping them in the water and then just like washing their hands and everything in the water. So all this has to be cleaned up today. It's 11 a.m. and let's take a look at what's going on here with the party platter that I put out for the animals last night. So everything was eaten except for the Twizzlers. All the eggs were eaten, the hot dogs were eaten, the graham crackers, the jelly sandwiches, and the peanuts. And here's the water bowl. It looks like it is completely frozen and everyone was wondering if that was a lid uh, near the water yesterday. It's actually ice. It was a sheet of ice that formed on the water. So hopefully this will defrost in the sun today. Uh, if not, I'll just put another bowl out. It's 1.11 p.m. I just walked into this room and look at Boo. He's so cute. He's so cute, Boo. Hello, Boo. How are you? Taking a nap? Okay, you take a nap. I think it's about 4 p.m. right now. Here's Stella and Splash. They're laying on the bed. Stella's using Splash's butt as a pillow. And here's Simba. How you doing, Simba? You're a good boy, Simba. Good morning, Boo. You hanging out with Ditto and Hydrox? There's Ditto and Hydrox. They've been hanging out on the back step for a little while. I just opened the door, so I'm gonna put some food together for them. It's very cold out again, so they've been uh, resting in their shelters. Be nice, ditto. It's 33 degrees out. It is seriously like a winter day today, and it's March 16th, so. I'm not happy about this. The weather was starting to warm up nicely and now we're right back into winter weather. So as long as it doesn't snow, I'll be, I'll be good if it doesn't snow. So I just fed Hydrox and Ditto um, two plates of food. As you can see, they're sharing one plate. There's some homemade raw food. That's the quail food um, that Boo does not like and um, Inside cats aren't that crazy about it. Um, so I've been feeding it to Hydrox and Ditto. They like it. And there's also a can of the wholehearted chicken pate, which I make some warm water in. They seem to like their food kind of soupy. 
Yeah, it was the wholehearted pate, chicken recipe, pate and gravy. Hydrox and Ditto love this. And um, this is from Petco. It's, I think it's like a dollar five a can. So it's, it's fairly reasonable for healthy cat food. It's around 11 a.m. right now and I'm outside checking on this party platter from last night. So it looks like the carrots were not a big hit with anyone, they're all still here. And also the tomato, um, there's one piece in the tray but the rest are just kind of like tossed around. So the wildlife uh, do not like carrots or tomatoes. And this is a brand new heated water bowl, it's really big. Um, I actually got this on super clearance um, when the local pet value pet stores were going out of business. I think I got it like 90% off. Um, I know I got it at least 80% off. Um, it was a massive, massive discount. And even though I had a heated bowl for the cats near the feeder, how could I pass up an opportunity to get another one like super, super cheap? So I bought it to have as a backup, even though it's bigger than the other one that I have. And now, because the weather is so cold and it's getting below freezing at night, the water bowl that I've had out here has been freezing. So here's the water bowl, I emptied it out, and there's the ice that was in it. So I just took this one out of the garage and I got an extension cord and I plugged it in. So I'm gonna fill this up and at least there will be warm, non-frozen water here for the wildlife. And I'm gonna clean up this party platter. What I do to clean it up is I filled up a very large pitcher with hot water uh, from inside and then I rinse the platter off out here. It looks like there's grape jelly all over the place. Um, I was looking on the camera, I was like, what is that dark stuff? What are those dark speckles? Yeah, that's the grape jelly. There was a whole um, segment of, there was a section of nothing but grape jelly. So it looks like it got moved around. Ditto is in his shelter. I can't get a good view of him through the window, but he's in there. And there's Hydrox. Hydrox is in his shelter also. They want to stay warm today. It is so cold out. It feels like it's the middle of January, not March. It's 6.24 p.m. and I just put out some food for Hydrox and Ditto. They're each getting some homemade raw food and some canned food. And Hydrox is eating his and Ditto is just kind of hanging out right now. Sometimes they like to eat together. Sometimes they wait for one to be finished and then the other one goes, so. There is plenty of dry food in the automatic feeder. It just dispensed some food a short while ago. I heard it go off. So um, there's plenty of food out there for Ditto and for Hydrox. It's 8.52 a.m. Stella and Splash are still in bed. Can you see Splash? He's kind of in a shadow right now. Stella's taking a bath. There's Splash. He must have been up late. Sometimes him and Simba like to run around the house at all hours in the morning. Stella says she's gonna sleep in also because it's that kind of day today. It's another cold and gray day. So the best thing to do is just laying in bed all day. It would be nice to do that, but I always have too much work to do. Here's Boo, he's getting a good scratch in on his arch. He loves that arch. Good morning, Boo. How are you? Here's Simba. Good morning, Simba. Simba says he's half awake and half sleepy because he's still in bed too. Simba's still in bed too. Simba just told me that he's waiting to see robins. He has not seen any robins yet. So he says it's not springtime yet until he starts seeing robins. The robins, right, Simba? He says he likes to watch the birds in the morning and the squirrels in the morning. That's when they're most active, right? They come around here in the morning and look for food. What are you doing, Boo? Can you sit still, please? Boo! 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 Hello, Super Boo. Hello, Super Boo. Super 
Super Boo's going to fly onto the cat tower. Whoop, there he goes. There goes Super Boo. Hello, handsome Boo. Look here. Boo, look here. For breakfast today, the cats are eating on their St. Patrick's Day plates and they're having homemade raw food mixed in with two of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. They like that combination. They're having two bench and field treats on top and a few crunchies. And Simba gets a few dried minnows on his. Okay, everybody, are you ready to eat? Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Simba, that's not yours. This one is yours. There you go, Splash. Where's Boo? There's Boo. Boo wants to eat on the stairs. It's 11.18 a.m. I put out two plates of food for Hydrox and Ditto, and they're sharing the same plate again. Looks like Ditto's eating the canned food and Hydrox is eating the, the raw food. They'll switch off. I'm here with Boo. Hello, Boo. And it is mail time. The cat's got some mail, so let's open it up and let's see what they got. They have a card here. Look how cute. It says, little prayer be on your way. Bless good friends on St. Patrick's Day. And look at the little kitten. That's so cute. It says, to the lucky feral, sweet and simple blessings to you on this special day. Stella Boo Splash Simba Hydrox Ditto from Eileen. Thank you so much, Eileen, for this adorable card. We hope you had a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Here's another card. Look at this, look. It kind of looks like Splash, doesn't it? Splash is playing the drums. Look at the little hamster playing a guitar. That's so cute. Hope your St. Patrick's Day is sham rockin'. To the Lucky Ferals for Stella Boo Simba Hydrox Ditto from Eileen. Thank you so much, Eileen. That is such a cute card. And here we have another card. Oh, where's my opener? Where's my opener? Here's my opener. And this says, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. It's so shiny. I don't know if you could see it, but it's like green foil. So nice. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. It says, two lucky ferals. Don't know if the luck of the Irish is true, but I do know I'm lucky because I know you. Happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. Stella Boo Splash Simba Hydrox Ditto from Eileen. Thank you, Eileen, for this gorgeous card and for this gift card to PetSmart. This will be put to very good use uh, the next time I go there to buy some cat supplies. We hope you had a very wonderful St. Patrick's Day. It is so nice of you to always think of us. And here's another envelope. Let me get my opener. It makes it much quicker and neater. Oh, there's a donation. This says, Dear Lady Lucky Ferals, thank you for creating your Lucky Ferals live stream channel. It has been such a blessing to me. On December 31st, 2020, I lost my little neighborhood cat friend. The owner was moving and didn't even tell me. Thank goodness for a nosy neighbor who gave me a heads up so I could contact the owner to find out what was going on. I only had 45 minutes to get all of the cat food, treats, bedding, toys, grooming, and first aid supplies together so that my little friend could be looked after and enjoy a proper New Year's celebration. I deeply regret that I missed his favorite wand toy as I forgot to put it back in place after the last time I played with him. Note to self, that's why everything should be returned to its proper home after you are finished using it. 
I was in very rough shape as this was my second cat friend that moved away. Both cats moved in the space of about six months. So Hydrox became such a comfort to me. At that time you only had Hydrox on your live channel. He would just lay there so content and peaceful that it calmed me right down. I can't tell you how impressed I am with your computer skills. You have really upgraded your live stream with the three views and your leaderboard. Then to watch Ditto in the cabin and Hydrox in his penthouse gave me such joy. You care for those cats with such tenderness and love. And of course, we can't forget all the other critters you look after. What excitement, Bella, Fella with those gorgeous blue eyes, raccoons, possums, and mice. I must confess, I was in great distress when Hydrox took over Ditto's cabin. And I saw Ditto continually trying to get into his place night after night, but Hydrox wouldn't budge. I remember it was cold outside, and I had great concern for Ditto not knowing if he was having to sleep rough on the streets. I'm certain he had his previous place that he could go to, but it clearly didn't come close to your cabin that he quickly became accustomed to. What a breakthrough today when Ditto finally entered Hydrox's empty plush penthouse suite. Both cats can now be dry and warm and rest in peace and safety. What joy filled my heart. Now I can finally rest. So you see, dear Lady Ferrells, how much your work means to me. I'm attempting to downsize so I can move into seniors housing. As I was going through some of my papers, I came across an envelope that had some American money in it. It was my lucky day. I completely forgot that I had it, but I knew exactly what to do with it. Please accept this gift as a token of my appreciation for your live stream channel. Would you kindly put this donation toward your live stream channel? Thank you for all of the hard work that you do in looking after all of your cats, your YouTube channel, and your live stream channel. Lady Ferrells, you're very gifted and you simply amaze me. With much love, Trudy. Thank you so much, Trudy, for this really nice letter. I am so happy that you have been enjoying the live stream channel and that you enjoy watching Hydrox and Ditto and the other critters. I'm very sorry to hear about your cat friends that have moved away. It's always very sad. Maybe you'll make another local cat friend soon. And thank you so much for your donation for the live stream channel. This will be put towards food for Hydrox and Ditto and the other critters that visit the yard. That was very, very nice of you to think of us. And I hope everything is well with you. And good luck on your move into senior housing. And again, thank you so much for this lovely letter. Stella has decided to join us. Here's one more envelope. Look at that, it's a bear. Oh, this one's taped really well. Oh look, it's a St. Patrick's Day card and it looks like Splash. Isn't that cute? With the hamster playing the guitar. Inside it says, to Lucky Ferrells, hope your St. Patrick's Day is sham rockin'. Stella Blue Splash Hydrox and Ditto from Eileen. Thank you so much, Eileen, for this adorable card. You thought it was so nice that you sent it twice. I think it's really nice, too. Well, what do we have here? What is this? What do we have, Stella? It says Amazon on the box. Ooh, it's an Amazon gift card. It's a $25 Amazon gift card. Thank you so much, Eileen. I've used every Amazon gift card so far because they always come in handy when I need to order something for the cats or something for this channel if I need like a new hard drive or something. So thank you so much. Stella says, thank you, Eileen, and thank you, Trudy. Boo says, thank you, Eileen, and thank you, Trudy. Pom pom catch. You're not playing, you just want to lay down? Okay, come on. Ready? Ready, Simba? Get the pom pom. Okay, here's another one. You're being lazy today, huh? 
Here. Stella. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here's another one. You like the red ones, but come on. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.